What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Go news update video. Today is February 2nd, 2018. And as you can see on screen, we got two brand new legendaries flying into Pokemon Go. That was a whack pun, but I'm gonna keep going with it because I'm excited. I'm generally excited. We're still getting brand new Hoenn legendary Pokemon added to the game. A lot of people thought with Lugia being re-added as the legendary boss Pokemon that, that they were gonna add one of the legendary birds next or the beast next to kind of give people a second chance or to maybe give people a way to shiny hunt these legendary Pokemon. And we kind of got the best of both worlds and I'm gonna get into that in a second, but let's jump into the official blog post from Niantic at PokemonGoLive.com. I'm gonna have a link to this article in the description below. And, it's, and as you can see, it says Latios and Latias fly into regional raid battles. This is regional because they're gonna be split up kind of like the legendary dogs were before, you know, one being in each region and then after a certain time they will circulate giving people from each region a chance to focus on one and then catch the other later now let's slide down into the official blog post and see what this bad boy is saying it says trainers as pokemon legendary year continues which they're doing an okay job with Two legendary Pokemon originally discovered in the Hoenn region are appearing in Pokemon Go raid battles for the first time. Dragon and Psychic type Pokemon Latios and Latias will appear in different areas around the world for a limited time starting April 2nd. Starting today. Today, that's not an April Fool's joke. You can go outside and catch yourself a Latios or Latias depending on the region you're in today. It says, drawn to compassionate spirits, the Eon Pokemon Latios and Latias are known for being highly intelligent and are able to communicate telepathically with humans. It says, they are also stealthy and extremely fast in flight, with Latias being able to use its own down to reflect the light to make itself invisible, <laughs> and Latios being able to overtake a jet plane. To make sure you encounter these special Pokemon and exclusive Pokemon, excuse me, while they roam during this limited time. It says the legendary Pokemon Latias will appear in raid battles across Europe and Asia, while Latios will appear in North America, South America, and Africa. On May 8th, the Eon Pokemon will switch locations and will be available until June 5th. So all trainers will have the opportunity to catch both powerful Pokemon. Still searching for the perfect Pokemon to battle Latios and Latias with? Pokemon with moves that are particularly strong against Psychic type Pokemon or Dragon types such as Tyranitar, Mawile will also be appearing in raid battles so you can put your best team together. It says both Latios and Latias will leave raid battles on June 5th so grab your friends and don't delay. Take on the challenge and seize the opportunity to add even more legendary Pokemon to your Pokedex and good luck trainers. Now I think this is pretty good. Enough time for raid groups to get together and catch these two bad boys. So let me know your thoughts on Latios and Latias being added into the game. I think this is a pretty cool way to roll out these Pokemon in particular. Again, it kind of works for these Pokemon that are roaming around kind of like the legendary beast. It kind of works where, you know, you have one in one area and then you rotate. Again, I think this works perfect for Latios and Latias. They were split in between Pokemon Ruby and Pokemon Sapphire. I'm not sure how they were. I think both of them were in the Emerald. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comment section below. But I think it's pretty cool that they're both going to be into Pokemon Go. No matter what region you're in, they're not going to be locked there. They're only going to be locked there for a period of time. And then they're going to rotate. So go in catch the one that you need first to get that Pokedex entry. And then when it rotates and switch, jump back in and catch you the next one. Now I am gonna have the areas and times and dates and stuff. If you need it, you can refer back to this video. Also, I am gonna have the link to the news article I just read in the description below. Now the next news story is coming from PokemonGoHub.net. Now shout out to these guys with the data mine on this that 
Shiny Latios and Latias models has been found in the Pokemon Go network traffic. Now, what that basically means is that we may be able to catch Shiny Latios or Shiny Latias in game. Now, I do want to mind you that there are legendary Pokemon that are in Pokemon Go that we do not have access to. But recently, when we found the network traffic code for these shiny Pokemon, like shiny Lugia, or any shiny Pokemon, general Pokemon, they have been released to the public. So fingers crossed that with this trend, that Lugia returning and also being found shiny, that Latios and Latias can also be found shiny. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but probably by the time this video is going up, someone's probably gonna pop it. And I will be doing a video probably tomorrow saying, yeah, it's confirmed, shiny Latios, shiny Latias in the game. Now, of course, if you want to find out the best moves and ways to capture Latios, Latias, you want a quick guide, go to PokemonGoHub.net. They're going to have the best thing for you as far as looking up for a quick guide so you can know what you're heading into, know the moves that Latios and Latias is going to have. I'm going to have all that linked in the description below for you guys that are really into the stuff like that. And also, if you are on the quest, for Mew, they do have a guide for the quest and do jump into the best way to tackle getting Mew as well. I'm also going to have that linked in the description as well. Now, something I didn't cover last week was the Pokemon Go Community Day news with Murkeep being that Pokemon that we're going to be having for Pokemon Go Community Day. I've seen a lot of people, a lot of backlash from this saying they were disappointed. They wanted Squirtle. They wanted Charmander. I'm one of those people. I wanted Squirtle. I wanted Charmander. But I'm not too disappointed about Murkeep being the exclusive Pokemon for Pokemon Go Community Day. One, I have Murkeep. But two, that means we're also getting Murkeep as a shiny. It also has two evolutionary forms that I currently don't have. So that means two Pokemon I'm definitely going to get, especially if the encounter rate for Murkeep is crazy, like Bulbasaur, like Dratini, like Pikachu. That means I'm going to get Murkeep. I'm going to get a special move with it. And I'm also potentially going to get two extra Pokemon that I can evolve. And then on top of that, I have a chance to get a shiny one. I'm hyped for Pokemon Go Community Day. Let me know your thoughts on it. And Pokemon Go Hub makes a great point. They have an article on predicting the move that Murkeep is going to learn. I personally think it's going to be a thunder move that's going to make Mercury kind of part of the thunder metagame. Kind of isn't right now, but I think it would be a good contender, especially if they released a good IV one, a good one with a great move that it learned on this third stage. Again, I'm going to have all of the information in the description about Pokemon Go Community Day this month. And if you need a link to the article, I'm going to have a link to this article and as, as well as the Pokemon Go official blog post post article announcing this. Now just to finish off the video, I'm going to show you guys a clip of today <laughs> while I was walking trying to get some Mew quests done. I was searching for any Pokemon that was boosted by weather so I can knock off that quest and what do you know, I find me a shiny swap blue and it was crazy because I was done with Pokemon Go for the day. I was literally walking home not caring what I was catching, just literally trying to knock off that quest or listening to music and then what do you know i find a shiny slob or whatever the fuck you call it that shiny gold goose finally caught one in pokemon go i'm so hyped i don't have enough candies to evolve it so i'm not going to do that yet but once i do i will evolve it to show you guys that evolutionary form as a shiny as well hopefully i do catch another shiny golden goose so i can have both of them in my pokedex shiny I think that would be amazing, but I just wanted to end it off the video with this shiny, showing you guys that, yeah, I do play Pokemon Go, not just for pour on it, and I am a casual, a filthy casual. As you can see, I catch this shiny Shawablu with one Ultra Ball left that I had in my bag. I literally had no other balls. I had no Pokeballs, had no Great Balls, just this one Ultra Ball, and I, I thought I was just gonna catch it easy and just, you know, turn off the app and be done because I literally didn't have a Pokestop next to me. I think I did, but I didn't have a Pokestop in the range of the Swablu, and I ended up catching it and was, so, oh my God, I was just like, thank God I clicked on it as the last Pokemon that I didn't catch another Pokemon 
before catching this because I would have been tight that I missed that. I missed out on this. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about everything we went over today about Latios, Latias being added into Pokemon Go. Excuse me if I kind of messed up the names of Latios and Latias. I do that all the time, but roast me in the comment section below. Also, let me know in the comments your thoughts about Pokemon Go Community Day. What move do you think Markeep is going to have? And are you excited for Markeep being a Pokemon Go Community Day Pokemon? Are you wishing that we had someone like Squirtle or Charmander to follow what we had with Bulbasaur being a shiny starter Pokemon like everyone thought we were going to get? And of course, let me know your thoughts on the quest and Mew and stuff like that because I didn't cover that when it dropped last week and that's because I was doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes with the channel and again a lot of family issues also occurred during last week I'm not gonna get into that but if you follow me on Twitter on Instagram you will kind of know already but thanks out to the people who reached out to me on those platforms on Twitter and on Instagram letting me know what's asking what is the videos and I let them know what happened and they were like oh my god I'm sorry but thank you guys this channel is something that I do want to do that I do want to put my time into trust me the videos are gonna get better the content will get better and I'm always gonna be here like always guys i'm daddy gamer fred on instagram and twitter you guys can hit me up there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of these pokemon go news update videos the best way to catch them all is with a subscription so please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified for the next time i drop a video and apparently because you the way youtube is set up ring the bell if you want to even see the video because if you subscribe that apparently doesn't mean anything but <laughs> Ring the bell you the next time you want to see a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next Pokemon Go news update video, which is probably going to be tomorrow confirming that the Shinies are real.